everyone and welcome to Time to Ride. We just started where we left off in the last episode and today we're gonna visit Robert's place again and try to find something to open that box in front of his house. But I remember last time we go from Robert's place to this place, our home is blinking or something. So I think we need to go over there first. Oh, something is lying on the ground here. I think we can use this one to open that box. I'll just borrow this for a while. Yeah, we can do that. Go. Oh, sorry. And we run fast back. But will he not notice that we are just <laughs> breaking up his box? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, come on. Yes, got it. A bloody whip. I have to show it to Josephine. Annie always brags about her ability to fix stuff. Okay. He's just getting more disturbed every time. A bloody one? Oh my. Robert here have some big trouble. Mm -mm. I don't like this at all. Josephine, is that that girl in the shop? Yes, definitely is. Whoa, we have a lot of money now. <laughs> Josephine, we need your help. Look, I found a bloody whip in Robert's trunk. It was he who mistreated the horses, not Marcus. I will pass this on to my contact at the police. It's most likely not enough to convict him, but maybe it's enough to reopen the investigation. Oh, so she had some police contacts. Did you know? But now we know that Robert is the one that mistreated the horses, not Marcus. Poor Marcus. Later! Okay. Okay, so this second part of this video was a little irritating or difficult because I forgot to press on the recording button. So while I was uh, recording the first part, I was on another place and now I'm sitting in another home. <laughs> for this second part of the video. So I had to just need to start another account and play to the same place where we are now. So yeah, it was a little irritating that I forgot to press the recording button, but here we are and we can try again. And yes, I have checked and I record now. <laughs> okay, our father has something to say to us. Hello, can I speak I've to you? mounted a hammock between two of the trees. It's magnificent to just lie there and doze a bit. Oh. So we need to take a new nap, I think. I want to check around on the map first before we do anything. But the game wants us home, so <laughs> yeah, but we trying to speak to Robert, but I think he will be angry or something. Robert, we need to speak to you about something. Someone has broken into my trunk and found a bloody whip and given it to the police. If they'd had any common sense, they would know that the police can't use stolen goods for evidence. Personally, I wouldn't cross the owner of a bloody whip. He have a lot to say. He tried to say that he don't mistreat the horses, but we don't believe him, of course. Okay, so we go home now. He seems a little angry. And he didn't saw us, because it was us that breaking up that trunk. <laughs> but we don't say anything. Okay, let's go home again and take a nap. Oh, you have 
something to say again? I've been told by Robert, the leader of the riding club, that I have to pay closer attention to what you're doing. He's repulsive. I'll put him in his place. So I'll have to choose between a repulsive weasel and my own daughter. Hmm, very difficult. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> he is cool father, that's for sure. Okay, let's go to this place here between these trees. I think we can use this for a nap. Yep, pretty much. I'm so tired. There's that light again. Oh, must this thing again. Oh no. <laughs> and I'm still wondering about what Why are you doing this? is or what kind of thing is chasing chasing her oh <laughs> this is still good as always because like i said last time we actually chasing chasing her. well no 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 keep going there don't Sapphire, take fire what are you doing Okay, where? There we go. Don't here. take me! And yep, no. Oh! <laughs> Some charm, sweet old game. Run for your life, Sapphire! Run for your life? Did this thing kill us if we don't run near the light? Run for your life, Sapphire! Okay. A dangerous thing then. Ooh. Okay. Stop. Obstacles here. I don't like that. Because I feel Stop. pretty much on them when I'm doing like this. It's really stressful actually. Run for your life, Sapphire! Yeah, we tried to do that. Okay, between these two rocks. Two stones, I cannot decide which Run for your life, you. Sapphire! Come on. Funny that this is dark and where I'm sitting is pretty light because I have the window behind me here. Dark your light, light. Sapphire. Oh, we hit the finish line. I wonder what that light at the end of the dream was. It almost looks like the dream is trying to guide me. Maybe I should go for a ride in the forest behind the house to see if I can find the way there. What? Do we have a trail that looks like trail in dream? Weird. So that means we need to remember where we run. Oh no. <laughs> I'm too stressful to remember that. It's a stressful talk to run in the dark with something that's chasing you. And then this game thing we can remember the trail afterwards in daylight? Interesting. Isn't this the place? I have to try and follow the same route as in the dream. <laughs> I did I did not remember the beginning, but we try to the right here. The only thing I remember is, is that there is a lot of obstacles. It was a lot of obstacles. So and I where think to we now? Have. Many obstacles here. I also remember these two rocks. So I hope they are nearby or something. Okie dokie. Where to go now? I remember a little tight spot here with an obstacle. Which trail should I go? Way? I think so. This place looks much better in daylight than in the dark with something that's chasing us. Now I'm Which saying trail should I chasing follow? much better, but in the beginning of blah, blah 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 there was a lot of errors. Okie dokie. Where now? Now I'm lost actually. Right or left? I cannot remember the way to the right here. And here's a lot of obstacles. Go this way. Here. Oh, here's the this 
these two rocks that we run between. Which trail should I follow? Please don't take the horse back to Robert. <laughs> Do you really believe me? Believe me, I would never kiss anyone who has beaten a horse. That was a interesting way to cheer him up. But I guess can do a lot of things. And make someone happy, I think. <laughs> but okay. This was an interesting turn. So Marcus have actually kidnapped the horses away from Robert so they don't get mistreated. And in that way. Mark is a good guy, but we already know that because we found that bloody whip in a trunk at Robert's place. So definitely, Robert is the bad guy, and Marcus tried to do everything he can to save his poor horses. I think it's a suitable boyfriend for you, Amanda. And again, the time is running too fast. I really want to continue with this now because now we have all the evidence against Robert but of course we need to go further into this in the next episode hopefully the police can get Robert in prison or something and we will be the nice guys and hopefully we can take care of these poor horses anyway give a thumbs up if you like the video don't forget to subscribe give me a second there And I see you in the next episode. Bye!